Good morning. Doing a little bit of knitting in bed. Good Saturday morning to you. You are here for another vlog video. I'm not exactly sure what today is going to bring, but we're starting off on a good note. I did just a little bit of quiet knitting in bed before I got up. And then what else? I did my PT exercises and then got ready to go. I'm going to do a nice walk at the state park with my friend Meg and my niece Hattie. So I've got all my stuff here ready to go, eating an apple while I wait for them to get here. So I will enjoy sharing with you throughout the day. Wanna run again? Yeah. Who's gonna win? Me. You think so? <laughs> good morning, everyone. Well, it's time for a proper good morning. It is actually almost 11 o'clock, had a great walk down at the state park. And then um, it was a weird morning. It was really cold and started sprinkling on us when we started and then the sun came out and now it's beautiful out there. So that all worked out well. I brought Oshane back from his baseball game. So he's out working with Dan, he and Declan and Dan are working in the yard today. I just did a load of dishes and now put on my coffee. So I need to eat some breakfast soon. Oh, I'm realizing, look over there. I had hat blocking up there yesterday. That looks pretty weird if you don't know what's going on around here. Huh? All right. Well, I'm still not really sure what the day is going to bring. I need to make some guacamole for Ayla's birthday party tonight. So I got to get to that. I still need to eat some breakfast. And I have a cool new toy that I can show you. So maybe we'll do that. Do you want a sneak peek? Let's go. All right, many of you have asked to see more of the stuff that I cook and one of the things that I make a lot, although I haven't made it recently, so I don't think I've shown you is guacamole. So I'm gonna show you how I make it. I really don't use a recipe of any kind, so this may or may not be super helpful for you, but let's pan down a little bit so you can see the ingredients. I use avocados, usually plum tomatoes, but you know, whatever I can get, cilantro, red onion, and lime, and a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. So that is what this is going to look like. I start with the avocados and then I mix in the tomatoes until I get sort of what looks like a good distribution. And then same thing with the onions and the cilantro. So let's um, flip this camera around and I'll show you how I do it. Oh, one thing that might be helpful if you haven't made guacamole before or you're not accustomed to buying avocados. I was actually buying some last time I was at the grocery store and there was a guy watching me selecting them going, so what are you looking for exactly? And so what I like to look for is that you can press in. So see how I depressed that a little bit? You can see where my thumb was, where you can press in, but you shouldn't be able to push all the way through. Now, this is really ripe and ready. Um, the, the choices yesterday were too hard that they wouldn't have ripened in time or this. So if you just give it a little gentle press, you shouldn't be able to press through and that's how you'll know it's right. And then once they get to this stage, if you wanna bring them um, into the fridge, then they will stay fresh longer. If you leave them on the counter at this stage, they will keep ripening and then they will rot. So that is the scoop on that. Sorry for the dishwasher noise, but this is real life.
Another way you can do it is to actually just put the slice marks into the avocado in several different directions. If you don't want to cut them after you put them in there and then that way when you scoop them out they're already sort of mostly cut. I just never smash the avocados because it creates a weird consistency and then you can just kind of give them one or two little slices once they're in the bowl. I squeezed in the last of the lime and I'll do a little bit of salt and pepper. I almost always taste my guacamole before I put it in the fridge just to get a sense of does it need some more onion, does it need more cilantro, salt and pepper, that kind of thing. And then I will put a clear um, film of saran wrap or whatever you like to use on top of it so that the top doesn't get brown if you can really hug the top surface of guacamole that usually um, serves it well. And then I'll let it sit. Sometimes I'll serve it right away, but usually it's better if it sits for an hour or two at least. All right, let's see how we did. Perfect. All right, the dishwasher was being really loud, so I brought you outside to show you my new tool slash toy. This is an antique um, circular knitting machine for knitting socks and things like that. So it needs quite a bit of cleaning, as you can probably see, but I do think that I can get it functioning again. Um, the crank works. I put it up on a table last night, um, so I think that I can get it working. I really have no idea really how to use it yet. I watched a couple of videos last night, but um, Dan gave me some WD-40 to go ahead and get cleaning it. So I need to get changed first and do a few other things before I dive into this today. Take off the spring and you probably saw a couple needles pop off so now I need to go find those. This is the machine we're gonna to use to wire brush the pieces. I gotta get some safety glasses. All right, 
right, folks, I've got most of the cleaning done and I used Dan's wire brush attachment on the machine that I just asked the name for and I don't remember it now, so I will put it down here. I still have my safety glasses on my head, but this came out really good. There, were, there was a lot of rust, especially in this area here. And you can see I got most of it off. You actually can't even see quite that much in person. Um, so I'm really happy with how that came out. The bottom was pretty much all rust, so that looks fantastic. But now I am filthy. Actually, I, I washed a few things in WD-40 and I actually look better than I did a few minutes ago. So I'm going to go wash up and I will check in with you again in a little bit. Today's the day, May 1st. You all can start signing up for our 2021 Splash Pad Party. I'm super excited for this summer. So if you haven't already, go ahead and sign up. There's a link in my Boston Gen 1 profile on Instagram. You can also find it on my website. At the very top, there is a link that says Splash Pad Party, or you can find it in the Ravelry group. Today is the first day of May, which means it's the first day for our May 2020 Patreon group challenge. I'm really excited about this one. For my 15 minutes a day, I'm going to be working on the second two ounces of this beautiful Shetland from Fiber Nymph Dye Works that I would like to make some more progress on so that I can get it applied up maybe during the splash pad party, which also this year aligns with the stash dash knit along that the Nick girls run. folks I think I'm gonna sign off for today the cleaning of the circular sock machine ended up taking a lot more of the day than I realized but I got in a shower and worked on some spinning got a few stitches on a pair of socks for my grandmother which I'll bring with me tonight we're heading over to our nieces for um, her birthday and hitting her brother's soccer game on the way so if there's any more footage after this we'll just consider it a little bonus but I hope you've enjoyed our Saturday and I will catch up with you again really soon Doing a little knitting in the car. We stopped at Home Depot on the way to Will's game. So I'm working on these socks for my grandmother. I really don't enjoy doing two by two all the way down the leg, but it fits her better. So that's what we're doing. At least I get to just knit on the backside. Oh, that was going in. I was showing it anyway. What's that? Man, blow that way. There you oh, go. That was a good one. Hold on. Uh, you might want to move that back a bit. Make it bigger. Oh, small. Okay, Crocodile. Spread yeah. your fingers out. Out. No. I heard the other guy hit by a car. <laughs> okay, you want to do a bird? Hi, can we please oh, look put a jacket on? Oh, my God. Oh, look at the bird. I'm proud of you, Or a moth. Oh, it's a bird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> Ready? Look, 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 look. Dinosaur's look. coming. It's a really lame dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Well.